up, America? This is Omar Hosea. For real. For real. Peace. Um, share something with, with you, world. I mean, uh, Israel. About living. Uh, in a pit of your own creation in your own hell now this trip to hell started last year about this time with two of my baby brothers getting murdered. And uh thinking about my daughter and my son, you know. Why didn't he come to Cali? And so I had to come here myself but I was going on. You know. So I finally get here. After going through hell, Cali. When I get off the, the plane, no, I, I go I go get on the bus from Virginia or DC, I think. Get on the bus from there, and uh, when I got here in Pittsburgh, I was cool for first two months no follow still doing my mojo still doing what to do and I had hope that after all these years that I've been gone that there would be some people who might have changed I thought there would be some people who might have changed at least a handful, right? Sorry, continues. So, now, I gotta walk everywhere I go. And I'm going through these unnecessary disputes. Because we were not expecting, expecting my change. But now, as all that has passed, right? After the people not respecting my change, supposed to be friends, family, and places, you know, people that I can grow up with, you know, you think they say, hey, you know, let's, you know, welcome back to see, you know, that's how you been. You know, nothing special. But now, when I see all of them doing the exact same thing, talking about the exact same shit, Hoping for the exact same results. Celebrate the exact same shit. Complain about the exact same shit at the exact same time. Six plus years ago. To find out. These people were doing the exact same shit they've been doing since we was kids. But this is before my drug abuse that these people was like this. After my drug abuse, and now I'm sober, I can think um, my life is manageable. I can relate. Now, they call me crazy because I'm not talking like them. Wow. And they still do the same thing seven years ago, and they're going to do it again, on the so-called, you know, on December 25th, they're going to do it, on January 1st, they're going to say they can do it, like they did the year before that, year before that, year before that, you know what I'm saying, look at the, look at the, the profile, 
not their profile, but just the cycle of, of life. So now, I uh, managed to, I think God has blessed me, touched my heart's heart. You know what I mean? Now I'm pretty, I'm, I'm okay. You know what I mean? Thank you, Father. Uh, and if any have prayed for me, thank you. And those who are truly believers, thank you. Now, and how did I walk around almost the whole city, you know, and been to different meetings and stuff? Now, the demons or the, the energy out here, because, you know, I didn't pick up my change here. Now I can see it. But now I stepped out of it. Now I can see it. That everywhere I go, I see my shadow. Like where I used to be at, what I used to do. It just flies past my face. And I'm like, this is some bullshit. You know? And any time I want to leave, I can't. Knowing the money should be there, knowing the money, da da da. And it don't even be about spending too much money on this or this or this or that. And I'm like, man, this is weird, man. And so now, folks is asking me about getting, did they, you know, getting high? Remember when we used to get high? Remember, 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 remember. remember. And I'm like to myself, no, I don't remember. But I remember that there was good times that are over. That's what I remember. And so now I'm being bombarded every day, all day when I go outside. Uh, what I used to do out here in the streets, man. And it's like hellish. You're talking about being tempted. Man. To want the temptation to Christ? Sheesh. Man. You're talking about what the ego is talking about, what it can do for you. If you just do this this way and try that way different. living in my hell right now. But I'm in my weak field of protection with the most high. You know, that relationship allows us to be still. That's what I'm doing. This right here. So let me share this with the people. Maybe somebody else may be having this or about to go through this issue. But just be still. Turn the TV off. That's why I've been watching TV too much. You know, I haven't been reading that much. You know? Uh, just then, the world's been seeping back. So that's why I say you got to stay prayed up, working, doing something. Uh, the way you know, we're supposed to. Because we know, you know. Like I said, I have an excuse, but an experience, unplanned, you know. But we have a solution how to protect them. You know, you have to ask the Creator for the power to put, put a force field around you so you can go out into the world, you know, and be safe for comfortable because what they doing is not your desire but what you doing because it's so vast you have to blend in once in the blue or once in a while however many to 
cheated and have you going down, have gone down. But you know, we customize our own steps. You know, leave footprints for each other to follow and trailblazers. Oh, I like to say it's trendsetters. Yeah, I'm really living in my living in my hell. And I just had to get over the fact that I want to be able to build a relationship with my little bro. That's the most high decision. Who deserves to live and who deserves to die. Right? Till next time. Peace, folks.